Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get battery percentage on your iPod Touch running any version of iOS on virtually any iPod Touch. So, let's go ahead and get started. To get started, I did want to say thank you guys so much for the support on past videos like this. Enable battery percentage on an iPod Touch without jailbreaking. So in this video, I'll, I wanted to make an updated guide. Of course, answer some of your guys' frequently asked questions as well. So in this video, I will be doing this on my iPod Touch 5th generation. And yes, to start off, I am still on iOS 7.1.2 right there. Uh... Just because I am not on iOS 8 doesn't mean it does not work on iOS 8. Yes, guys, it does work on iOS 8 and maybe any future versions of iOS for the iPod Touch. Of course, I'll have updates down in the description. Of course, a lot of information down there. So I am on iOS 7.1.2. Nevertheless, uh, it should work on iOS 8. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, you're going to need to go ahead to come to this website to download iBackupBot. Now, a lot of people have been getting confused on which one to download for which device. Just read the software name here. Here's iBackupBot for Windows, iBackupBot for Mac, 10.5 or later. And, of course, Windows will have different versions of Windows uh, that are supported. Over here is your download uh, buttons. It says free trial. Uh, basically, it's free. Um, yeah, so once you've done that, go ahead and close out of that or just save it. Next, you're going to go ahead and go into iTunes and click on your device up here and then come to the summary and hit backup now and backup to the, the computer here. Make sure to have this uh, option selected. That way it would back up your device to the computer. And then, uh, then you're ready. If iTunes doesn't back up, just restart your computer or restart your, uh, your device here or you know, unplug it, replug it. Uh, check if there's any security software that may be blocking USB connection, you know, things like that. So that's all you have to do in iTunes. So let's go ahead and go over to iBackupBot. So here's my phone here, but uh, let's go to the iPod right here. Be sure you have the latest date. So that's why I told you guys to go into iTunes and back it up because then you'll have the latest date in here. Click on System Files here. You come back up here to the top right here. And go to com. Dot. Apple. Dot. Sp. And enter or return. And you should get three files if you're on iOS seven down to iOS, you know, six and below and all those. But if you are on iOS eight, it will be a little bit different. So let me go ahead and enter here on my phone, which has the exact same files, but it's um, iOS eight, and it will be a little bit different you know you might get more files so here you want to go ahead and find com.apple.springboard.plist as you guys can see right here and then at the bottom there's one right here and you, I want you guys to notice this notice the size and here is 8.1 kilobytes and the one up top here is 507 kilobyte or er, bytes actually so let's go back to our iPod system files and let's go ahead and search that again there we go uh, return and here's our two files, springboard.plist. And I want you guys to select the bigger one. And go ahead, you know, as you guys can see the size right there, this 6.7 kilobytes versus 507 bytes. Go ahead and double tap on it and open it up. It'll ask you to, you know, buy it and register it and all that. Go ahead and hit the cancel button right here. And you should come up with this code page. I want you guys to go to this website, and I'll have that down in the description. Like I said, be sure to check out the description. There's a ton of stuff down there. So... Don't miss out. So I want you guys to come to this website. Go ahead and copy this code right here. Let's go ahead and copy that. Copy that balls. Okay. Come back here and under the first line, D-I-C-T, go ahead and hit enter or return and make a new line. Come here. You cannot paste with the button. So go up, go up here to the options, the tools tab here, and there will be a paste button, I believe, is this one. There you go. Um... Once you're here, go ahead and make sure this true is intact right there, just like that. Make it all lined up. So you need to paste this in here. So let's go ahead and hit the save button right up top, just like that. And click out of it right there. 
And now I want you guys to go onto your iPod if you're on iOS 7 and above. If you're on iOS 6 and below, you do not have to worry about this step. So go ahead and go onto your device if you're on iOS 7 and above. But go into iCloud, um, scroll down here to find my iPod Touch. Of course, on iOS 8, it'll be in a little bit different place. I'm going to bring over my phone here. So let's go ahead and go to the iCloud. And it down here, for iOS 8, it'll be in a separate tab on its own. Just like that, find my iPhone. Or find my iPod, rather. But on your iPod, you want to go ahead and toggle off that option. Alright guys, so I've turned off Find My iPod Touch, and we can go ahead and continue with this process on our computer. So, let's go ahead and come back to the computer on iBackupBot. And go ahead and select that file you just modded, if it's not selected already, of course. And, of course, be sure to make sure it's this bigger one that you just modified. And go ahead and click this Restore button. And um, don't touch any of the options and just hit OK here. And that will continue. And here on our device, we'll have a Restore in Progress. And here on the message, uh, we will have a Restore completed. Let's go ahead and say OK to that. And now our computer is, uh, we're pretty much done with the computer. But in a second, I'll show you guys um, how to do this process in reverse because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. Let's go ahead and just put that there for a little bit. So let's go back to our device and there we go. As you guys can see up here, I'm going to go ahead and focus. And there we go, 95% right there, I'm charging. So I do have a uh, battery percentage right there. Let me show you once again. Let me go back into the settings. I am on 7.1.2, but this does work on iOS 8. I've been getting a lot of feedback about that so that I am positive about it working on iOS 8. So let's go ahead and go into the usage. And as you guys can see, I still don't have a toggle here instead of settings. There is no way to enable a toggle here. So that's it guys for the process and now I will go ahead and go into your very first question, the most common question I get on this, uh, my videos, my previous videos, is how do I remove it? So question number one, how do I remove it? Go to, go back into iBackupBot, of course have a fresh backup if you're doing this a uh, few days after you've, you've um, enabled it, of course. Go ahead and make a fresh backup and... Um, just click on this again and cancel so you can go to the list view down here SB try to go to SBS SB show battery level and battery percentage right there and we can go back to XML and let's try to pinpoint where it is you should be here somewhere search SB show battery levels so go ahead and just select that. Uh, both of them, actually. You need to select both of them. Uh, show battery level and show battery percentage. And back backspace off of that. And make sure everything is back to what it was like. Save it once again up at the corner. Close out of it. And, of course, with Find My iPod Touch off, go ahead and hit Restore. And, of course, do the same thing. And there we go. So once this is while this is loading, once again, let's go ahead and answer some more questions. It's not working. Help! Just try uh, troubleshooting your, by yourself, of course. Just um, restart your computer, restart your iPod, like I already said. And the third question is not, uh, is only showing the files and not letting me access them. What? And that is what what happens when you download iCopyBot and not iBackupBot. You need to download iBackupBot and not iCopyBot. It is on the same place on the website, so be sure you click the right button when you do download it, like I showed earlier in the video. So it won't charge to 100%, and why is it fluctuating so much? I've been getting this question a lot because the iPod 5, it, or actually any iPod such as, does not have a hardware built into the device to detect what um, current battery level, level it has exactly which is unlike the iPhone, which already has battery percentage up here. Same with the iPad. And that's why you, we get a um, toggle in settings to, you know, undo it or redo it, whatever, we, whenever we want. There's no 
percentage anymore. We just removed it. So that's how you guys revert the process. But uh, let's go ahead and answer some more of your questions. So showing the files, you need I backup, but fluctuating because it does not have the hardware to not fluctuate. And obviously, I know somebody's just going to say this. You're on iOS 7, but I have iOS 8 and it's not working. Why? Okay, you guys need to in include some detail into your comments before I can help. You know, what's what went wrong? You know, did it happen exactly like I showed in the video? Did you paste the code exactly where I showed you? You know, do everything exactly where how I did it um, yeah you, just, you guys do need to include a little bit of detail so just yeah Anyways, here's one guy posted uh, you stupid just go to settings general usage and turn on the battery percentage duh well that is only available on the iPhone and the iPad so who's stupid now anyways it deleted everything that's not gonna happen as you guys can see here I still have everything all my stuff my emails are still coming in from you guys. That's awesome. But uh, I have all my gains. My progresses are saved. I never lost anything throughout this. Uh, ever using this process. Even on iOS 6. When I was on iOS 6. So you will not lose any, everything. And if. Just if you did lose something. Be sure to use this backup. You know inside of iTunes. And restore from backup. That's how you can get all your stuff back. So what if I am currently jailbroken? Do I still need to use this process? No, you will not. Uh, you could if you wanted to. Um, and if you're jailbroken, it will not remove your jailbreak or break your device. Even though it does say restore. But it really just copies the new part of this file right here. Like I said, we selected this file. And we basically just put this file on this device. Which we did modify. So... Yeah, so if you're jailbroken, you don't have to worry about it. I'll put an annotation right there. Of course, I have the link down in the description for mobile users. Or if you can't see the annotation right there, it's for a video on how to j do it with a jailbreak with iFile. Of course, I will have it right here or in the description. Just click on that and it'll take you to my tutorial on how to do it on uh, a jailbroken device when I had this device jailbroken uh, a few months earlier. So that is some of my most common questions. And now things to do before you give up. Now, number one, restart your devices. Number two, make you, make sure you download the uh, iBackup. Uh, three, try a different USB. Try it on a different computer. You know, ask me. Be sure to include some details in the comments, of course, so you, I can help you to the best of my ability. Make sure you did all the steps exactly as, as shown. You know, rerun the video. Make sure you did everything. Make sure you download the right things. You know, you paste it in the right code in the right place at the right time. And delete and reinstall backup, iBackup like I just mentioned earlier. And make sure you have iTunes installed if you're on Windows. If iTunes is not backing up, uh, try reinstalling it on Windows. You know, delete it and then go to Apple's website and re-download it again. Mac users shouldn't have this problem. If they do, you know, if you do have a Mac and you do have this problem, reboot or uninstall any programming that may prohibit iTunes from working. So this guy, guys, this is just a full guide and troubleshooting for this process on um, on your iPod Touch and how to enable battery percentage. Right, so that's how you guys enable and troubleshoot on how to uh, get battery percentage on your iPod Touch. Any iPod Touch, including the first gen up until the fifth generation at this moment. There might be a sixth generation this year or next year, I don't know, 2015 or 2016. Apple might do something with the iPod Touch line. Of course, I will update everything in the description. Be sure to check out the, the uh, description, guys. I will have all links down below and a little bit of instructions and troubleshooting. Of course, if you guys don't, um, if it doesn't work for you. And be sure to comment, rate this video up if you liked it, if it worked for you. And uh, subscribe if this did help you. Of course, subscribe to my gaming channel. And it will, I, you'll see me a little bit more often there because the gaming videos are just that much easier to make. Just that much. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, peace.